I don't have any financial affiliations with any of these companies, by the way, and I apologize for using a, a brand name. Uh, avoiding complications with hyaluronic acid. Obviously, there's been a, quite a change, at least these this numbers are from the uh, from Metasys in terms of reducing some of the allergic profile. The great thing is, you know, with any hyaluronic-based product, you can reverse it using hyaluronidase. And I'm going to talk to you about some of the numbers that I use to, so that you don't dissolve everything. I've really found uh, using blunt cannulas around the eyes allow me to fill each of the eyelids really quickly in less than five seconds per eyelid in a super periosteal plane using these cannulas. I jokingly refer to this cannula I developed with Tulip called the Laminator, but I don't make any royalties off Tulip or receive any compensation from them. Um, again, I don't have any financial affiliation with Tulip, but they make great products for injecting around the eyes. This is a disposable cannula and just showing how I, I actually inject um, Restylane and Juvederm and all those hyaluronic based products the same way that I inject fat, which is j just around the, the orbital rim in a super periosteal plane using this uh, blunt cannula. Calcium hydroxyl appetite. The, the few things of pearls that I've been using it for about four years now, and I just want to go through some of the things that will keep you out of problems. The, I, I used to do some cross-hatching techniques for volume fills of the cheeks, had some lumpiness, and really what I do now for volume fills of the cheek is a transoral approach where I go up and actually target the, the maximal area of depression, which is the malar linear depression. By filling a linear depression, you get the maximal benefit, but since you're going through a transoral approach, you're going up and down and creating a scaffold, and doing that eliminates that bulge. I've really found some problems, idiosyncratic responses around the nasal drugal area. I don't like using calcium hydroxyl appetite around the eyes or the lips. Another little pearl is that if you're injecting the labial mandibular fold, there's a fine line between injecting it into the fold itself and injecting it into the mucosal side. So what I always do is after I fill the labial mandibular fold or puppet line, I'll go in there with my index finger, my non-dominant hand, and just feel if anything's extruded in the wrong direction, and then gently manipulate it back in the right direction, and not pressing it out with two fingers, but just using one finger. These are just some of my volume fills, a cc of wrestling around each eye, and then uh, that's Juvenile Ultra Plus into the cheeks and jawline, that's one cc into the cheeks, one cc into the jawline. This is radius, one syringe into the cheeks and jawline total, and then one cc of wrestling into under each eye using the cannula approach. This is perlane, one into the cheeks, one into the jawline, and then uh, one cc of wrestling per lower eyelid. Polyolactic acid is a product I don't use very much only because I found it to be quite expensive and not really able to deliver what I want on a timely basis. Most patients that come in to have a treatment they wanted yesterday, the results. So the things that probably you're already familiar with, this is more something I think it's in a textbook about this point, which is just making sure you dilute it sufficiently and mixing it the night before. And then on the day of the procedure, adding a little bit of lidocaine. I always want to over dilute than under, uh, under dilute and really go over a wider area. I, I don't think it's a great treatment for lips or noses because you're almost sort of predicting what it's going to turn out to be. And, and it's, it's, that's, I usually just use it for cheeks or, or jaw lines. Uh, and I really am conservative with doing it uh, over treatment of every four to six weeks. And I do a little bit of uh, massage into that area just to make sure it's okay. I do a three minute, th uh, three times a day for, th uh, for three days rule.